G'day, my name's Cannon Fodder. Welcome back to Vermintide 2. Today we are playing as Barton, the Dwarf. Outcast Engineer career. We are accompanied by Marcus Kruber, the Grail Knight, Perillion, the Waystalker Elf, and of course Victor Solspire, our Witch Hunter Captain. Today, Hunger in the Dark on Recruit Difficulty, as is the standard for this. Just so we can get through this without too much hassle and without these walkthroughs. That's what we want to call this. Taking too long. Meanwhile, he'll follow the tracks. Now the idea is that over the over the course of this walkthrough, I'll be showcasing each of the careers for each of the characters, at least a minimum of once, and then you'll see me revert to my favorites. So there's always a few that I will play more than others. Alright. Grab that Jory. One of the fun things of this is that it's actually taken it's been a fair while since I've played some of these, so I may have a little bit of difficulty remembering where some of the uh books are. Oh, and I got hooked. Uh, and that's why I bring the Waystalker. Isn't she grand? Alright. Health. Particularly a red boon, especially if you're on legendary difficulty. Or Kata. More HP. Down he goes. This is the, uh, the, 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 the harpoon grenade that I was talking about. Also one of the rather amazing perks for the, this particular career of Barton is to pick up all the bombs. Alright, here we go. Here's what it does. Boop. Melts trolls, even on high difficulties. So good. Anyway, while we're dealing with this horde, it's probably a great time to show you where the first book is. Hug the left hand side of this cavern as you enter. Down past here, see this gap in the wall? In here. Turn right. Wrong. <laughs> Turn left. Whoops. And. Is it in here? Yes! Turn right, then go up, and then first left. Ta-da! Turn. I'm going to pick it up. I don't need health. I'll be fine. Now, there are always other goodies in here, so it's always worth scoping out the rest of them. However, if you're on sort of higher difficulties, I would, like, fight in this cavern before getting the book, because if you get stuck in that little culvert, you're gonna have a bad time. We've gone right somewhere. Anyway, after grabbing the first book, it's we're going to go pick up the objective. Mm, the cart, which you can stand in front of and it will move you. Uh, it, the cart will only move if you are near it. So that's where this comes, this comes in handy. Crouch. There it is. And in front a little bit longer. I am a terrible shot. Thankfully, I have a mini gun with endless bullets. All right, pick up the barrels. There's one reasonably close by. Toss that down. Let's go get the rest. Man, that elf is on fire with that bow. Literally. Alright. The idea is to actually place it in the cart. Which it may not always do. Bang. 
bad at aiming, I guess. Um, it gives you multiple barrels on both sides. It doesn't matter which ones you grab. There's no particular order. You don't have to grab anything specific. They will explode in your hands if they are hit. Off it goes. And let's send it on its way. We're going to lose sight of the card. And away it goes. That was not the cart exploding, that was the mine collapsing. Alright, in here is the second, is, is our Grim, is our first Grim. There is a barrel, and there is a wall. We must use the barrel to blow up the wall. Black powder goes a long way. Oh, apparently I'm capped on bombs. I can carry three. I cannot carry all bombs, I can carry three. This is sad. I need to find this barrel, and I need to find this wall. There is the barrel. And... Pick up the barrel down here. Oh, look! It's the wall. Toss the barrel up the wall. Retreat. Yes, you can just walk through that. We have found ourselves behind everything. And then... Is it over here or is it somewhere else? I think... No, it's somewhere else. We've got to go up the ladder. And in the box, or next to the box, marked with Grim, we're just going to get a Kruba. Pick that up. And now, we can leave. There's what powder on the wind. Done with this cruise. And we're going to come through here. We're going to go into here. And we're going to smack him. We got Blow him up. Yeah, even on a fruit, you really can't mess with them. Let's deal with the horde first. Nice. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's show you what the minigun's good for. Bullets! Down here. Of course you will run out of steam, and so now it is time to reload. I am gonna move on. Alright. Up next is the fun bit. That lamp on the back, that's going to come in handy. We'll let the bot finish off. All the other stuff. Just see if I can't mark anything before the guys show up. And now it is dark. Let's get a little bit of extra light. Oh my lord. Well, that blocks that off quite nicely. Pronk, pull the lever. And off we go. In this darkness, there are bad things. Berserkers, gas rats, other fun, and to anyone who's interested, which if you're watching this, you are I'm sure in part, interested in the second tone. Ta-da! Brilliant! Also, I'm going to drink that one. Thank you. And now we shall continue our escort mission. And there's another horde incoming. We 
we need to go up. Oh, that's right, I've got Morgan Bomb. That means I get everything in one. That's nice. They're all going to burn to death. Nicely done, Krobo. Bonk. Dwarf Hammer also makes a fun bonking noise. And down it goes. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for that Storm Vermin. Now, there are sometimes goodies around here as well. In, there's a second ridge underneath that you can drop down and grab stuff from. Which is fine. But for the purpose of this video, we won't be doing that. Well, like that had Off it goes. And it is time for us to grab our second Grim. Now, I don't expect the boss to be able to follow us. But having come down this ramp into the large cavern, immediately right, there is a hole. Which we are going to crouch through and then climb the ladder. Now, what follows is a tricky little bit of jumping. That's the main bit down there. We're just gonna come up and around. So it's not up there. We can't actually get up there. We're just gonna go drop down a little bit longer. There it is. And close to this candle. Ow. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Uh, there is another little hole around here, which I think I've walked completely past. Yeah, so just in this first hopping. Nowhere close to the candle. I'm just giving you false information. Please leave a like. Here is the second grimoire, which I will pick up. I didn't have any of my trinkets equipped for this one, so that's awkward. I'm definitely going to need to fill up on a health pot or a health pack. There's only a scratch, so never touch them. Medical supplies gets me all the way to 37 HP. I'll need to heal up the door, uh, the elf at Keep some point. And the cavern, which we shall traverse through, all the while dealing with this horde. The old trial ground is also the location of our final book. It's a short jump, hop, skip, and a horde away. Several bonkings. Medical supplies at last. Oh no 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 no! Oh bugger! Right, well that's gone forever. Well, I guess the purpose of this is to show you where they are. Not necessarily to finish with it. I'm a little annoyed about that. can drop the grimoires. I think I've already stated this, and yes, they do disappear forever. I need a moment. Oh. On to the final tome, which is just a short jumping puzzle, so you've got to come across to this rock. Up one more. And then straight across here. Up this ramp. And there is the tome. What you going to give to Soulspire? Eventually he will make it up. Oh, the bot pathing is much improved. No. Look at him go. Ta-da! Let's 
Let's finish this off. I think it's this way. One more cavern. Well, two more. That rat's got a reach, all right. Uh, kill that. Just We've gone the wrong way. Scum. Moving on. That's the altar, Dory. That's a bridal. Nope. Ow. No, we've already been this way. This is the way we came. All right, so. You can't kill them. You can hit them, they do take damage, but you can't kill them. Final top up on health and other supplies. Over here! And then the final drop. There's a car, Dory! Where we find our long lost friend once again. Again, stay close to it. And now we have another horde. And here they come. Now you wouldn't be able to like light the lamp with fire in anything above in, in anything champion or above. There's something very uh no team damage is peculiar to the lower levels only. Thank goodness for the elf. Ah, plague rats. From somewhere. Stay with the cart, it will roll back down, you will lose progress, and you'll be stuck fighting the horde for longer. As you can tell, I'm still pretty salty about losing that Grim. The difference between a merchant's chest and an emperor's chest. It probably doesn't matter. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'm okay. I'm not completely butt hurt. Anyway, that's gonna go up there. We're gonna ring the bell. And then we're gonna... There are two ways of doing this. I'm fairly certain the other way is... Definitely... A thing. Supposedly you're able to not fight the troll if everyone is gathered by the door. But the troll has disappeared, apparently. Well, then, that works in our favor. He's, he's dropped down there, he's all the way down there. There we go. Time to go. Time to run. Uh, we shall send a command to come here. We will not fight the troll. We will run away from the troll with everything we can, because I really don't feel like wasting time fighting that. Now you guys get to see the end of the video. If you like what you saw, then you know what to do. My name's Dana Fodder, Vermitide 2, Hunger in the Dark, all the times of Grimms, you know its locations. Thanks for watching.